Good morning. I am Dr. Vaikun Raju, pediatric neurologist uh, from Bangalore. Today I will be talking on uh, developmental problems in children. Development delay is one of the common reasons why parents will uh, bring to children's uh, doctor and also child neurologist. So various reasons for uh, delay in the development in children. The most common reasons in India are uh, birth related problems uh, in the sense that when there is a lack of oxygen and baby is delivering that is the most reason and after that there are various other reasons like uh, brain fevers brain injuries and uh, some of the genetic causes also contributes the most common cause in India especially the uh, southern part of India because uh, usually the marriages will happen in relatives that is one of the reason why it is common in this part of India. Uh, when they bring the child to the doctor, doctor will evaluate what is the reason for the developmental issues. As I told India birth related problem it is easy to identify when uh, doctor uh, examine the child and uh, they may require some of the tests to confirm the reason for developmental delay. After that, uh, they elevate various tests uh, and uh, based on that, they will decide uh, what is the reason for the developmental delay. So after the development reason uh, attains, uh, the doctor will advise treatment. Some of the disorders can be treated with specific medication like some of the metabolic condition can be treated with uh, various uh, vitamins and uh, enzymes also. But uh, if there is no specific uh, reason for the development delay, then uh, they need to undergo some of the genetic tests and as I told, most common cause in children in developing countries is a birth related problem that is usually called cerebral palsy, where they require various types of uh, rehabilitation program like physiotherapy, occupation therapy and speech therapy and some of them will be associated most of the time with other comorbid conditions like uh, PITS, epilepsy, hyperactivity and ADHD and autism. So these also should be identified and they should be treated appropriately. Thank you.